y'all, it's American Mom on the Southern Mom Channel. Today is Wednesday, so we're going to be watching The Sopranos. Last episode, a lot of stuff was going on in our little group, in our mafia group. Who was wearing a wire? Who was, you know, uh, reporting information uh, to get themselves off trouble. Uh, they thought it was, uh, they thought it was pussy. But then they find out it's Jimmy. Tony just, he was like, I wish I'd have just killed him right then. But there, we gotta be 110% sure. <laughs> I saw the comments. I did not say that. You cannot whack somebody if you're 110% sure that they deserve it. If that were the case, I'd be wearing an orange jumpsuit right now. So don't listen to me. That's not what I said. Um, we'll just leave this up to the soprano guys. Let them whack somebody, okay? We have to live vicariously through them. I don't know. I, Jimmy looks like he's in trouble. Um, so we'll see where that picks up. And then... Uh, but this episode, uh, this is episode 12. It's called Isabella. I don't know anybody named Isabella, so we're going to meet somebody named Isabella. What do you want from me? <laughs> I, I really do a great northern accent. I know. I know I do. It's fantastic. <laughs> Only when Olivia's present, usually. Because she's my not favorite character. Okay, let's just, let's just watch this. Those indictments are hanging over my head too, you know. Plus, I, I got the, uh, the roots in the pipe to the street. My best friend, Pussy, has disappeared. He's probably fucking dead, okay? Yeah, this downturn started long before Pussy Bump and Sarah disappeared. If you want me, I will be at the Paramus Mall, getting your son a suit to wear to his first formal. And Jimmy's funeral. Been lying in bed for a week now. Is that Isabella? Wondering how long to see the hands in her eyes. I don't want to see this. Make up in a chair. Tanity. Make up the sea. What pills did he take? The meeting's adjourned at the Green Grove. Chucky and I spoke to Donnie P and the thing. It's happening tomorrow. No, it's not. That quick. Good. Yeah. Black guys. It'll never lead back. They're gonna be shit doing this place. Look at her like that. Mario Lean gave me my first hand job. Me and Vincent Miniscalco in the alley behind the chicken market. Junior. God, what am I saying at this poor yeah. woman's wake? Why don't you give the eulogy? I just wanted to let you know, that's all, so she didn't have to worry. Everything's taken care of about Tony. So what time it is? There is absolutely nothing on the street about the big guy, T, anywhere. Jimmy Altieri was in the bing. I can't even look him in the face anymore. If he's wired as doing jack shit for the government, because all we feed him now is deliberate bullshit. Till we can, you know. Sorry. Don't do nothing about Jimmy. I don't even know if he's the guy that flipped. Take your clothes off. I don't know nothing no more. I'm going downstairs. What are you going to do? I'm gonna get my pants out of the fucking dryer, okay? Is he watching him? Does he think he's suicidal? What's happening? Oh, he's gonna meet the neighbor. Oh, gee. Because she sees that, that's creepy. Alright, I'll, uh. I'll let you study. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me. Come si dice, biancheria? I don't know how to say in English. Well, that makes two mm. of us. Bye. <laughs> Why is Christy 
for following. And asking so many questions. That's him. <gasps> They're the ones. They don't want nothing above the neck. Stay away from them. Let's do it. Right now? Just read the newspaper. Back way to see uh, Dr. Melfi. Christ, how the hell could it not have gone down? I know, Junior. I'm sorry. Some uh, some civilian got in the way of something. Donnie will explain it to us. He's around the corner. He got lost. I wanted it to be over. I know. Such a great uncle. <laughs> I hear Tony yes, his own mother once on popped. Who the fuck told you that? I don't know. It's just a joke, right? You think that's funny? A guy's own mother? Okay, okay. Tomorrow. Fucking A. All right. Was that a slip of the tongue? What did that mean? Sorry. Whoa. There's no discussion. There's no, hey, we're going to let you go. We don't need your services anymore. wine bar you can sit you can see the hills and when it's spring you can smell the blossom from the name of tree and there is a church with a bell and they say when it rings that means that a baby was conceived in the town è un posto pacifico e tranquillo dove il tempo sembra essersi fermato I would love to go to Italy. <clears throat> it's on my bucket list. Honey, I told you that your mother was coming for dinner. Hi, Mom. Oh, look who's decided to join us. And with that breath. You know, I really don't need that right now, Ma. Oh, well, aren't we being sensitive? How come my son's in the bathroom? Is he sick? He's fine. Dad, he's depressed. <laughs> depressed? My father came oh. to this country with 17 cents in his pocket, and he never made a peep. Ma? What's he got to be depressed about? Oh, I mean, this is really the last time. I am never coming back to this house. Put it in writing. Please. Bitch. Who's she? <laughs> if I had an ounce of self-respect, I would cut your dick off. <laughs> he wouldn't feel it. It's so drugged out of his mind. You know. You kidding me? Did he shoot his gun? What happened? So he wouldn't have to go to jail either. Camilla. Ask this prick if I'm even indicted. This assassination problem is not going to go away. I think both of you realize that. I told you to stop talking to my wife. Come on, why don't you wait outside? Kiss my ass, Tony. You're the only option you have left, Tony. 
It's not safe for you anymore in the streets or in jail. This conversation is over. What do you mean it's not safe? What do you know? He doesn't know anything. It was a fucking carjacking. Now get out of here. You're upsetting my wife. Afternoon in Montclair. Anthony Soprano, who allegedly holds the rank of captain or higher in the northern New Jersey mafia, was wounded in what the victim claims was an attempted carjack. But sources in the FBI say was a gangland execution gone awry. Soprano escaped with minor wounds and was taken to an undisclosed area hospital. However, one of his assailants, William Johnson Petit Claiborne, was fatally wounded in the attack. Continuing now with... Is this true? Why, do you think they made it up? But how, how could this happen? I don't know. I don't figure no. I feel like I'm floating in space. He's going to look for who did this to him. Anthony, well, of course he is. Livia, you understand what's going on here? My son got shot, and he got away. What do we do now? What the fuck do we do now, Livia? We go see him. Tony? Of course! She's my only son. Does she know? I'm confused. Thanks, sweetheart. They will use some peppers Is she here. in on it, or is she saying it? Is she upset because he got shot? What to do? Can't help, too. I don't know. Some fucking shit, huh? All due respect, Tom. It had to be your uncle, right? Oh, I'm fucking now. Maybe he found out. I don't know what. He's Joe Jerkoff, not the boss. You know that you've been running things behind his back. Anthony! Uncle June! Don't get up. I heard your knee was fucked up. Mm. Kiss to death. I got Mikey Palmich and all my crew out there cracking heads to find out who did this. Well, we're done with them. You know, wish they were never born. Tony. Look who it is. Father and Tintola. I came as a friend. How are you, Tony? I haven't seen him if, in a while. If you'd like to speak privately, maybe we could, you know, kneel in prayer or... Not right now. Why don't you grab a sandwich and we'll talk later? I mean, just sleeping over, right? Uh, can I get anybody anything? Sell maybe another sambuca? Well, hey, I'll get it. Come on. I'll take a Curacao if you got it. And she had this baby. She was holding it, you know, on her breast. She was nursing it. She was, was uh, whispering to it like, it's okay, little baby. Don't cry. It's gonna be okay. I love you. Did the baby have a name? She was calling it Antonio. Anthony, your fantasy, that's, that's you, that little baby. And Isabella, that she was nursing you. Ah! That's cool. Shit, yesterday. You don't even recognize your granddaughter? Well, I, I've, I've been forgetting things lately. You'll, you'll find that it'll Was happen really? to you soon, too. That's terrific oh. timing. Right after the move on your son goes in the toilet. I don't know what you're talking about. She didn't know. Come on, your house guest. Isabella, dark hair, beautiful. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, do you? I don't, I got no idea what you're talking about. It was a vision? <laughs> you didn't have an Italian girl. She's here studying the... We had Skippy Palumbo from down the street come into the house to take care of the dog. No, that wasn't him. <laughs> Never mind. Forget it. Joke. Uh, <laughs> all that medication he's been taking. All right. What the hell? I mean... Why the need for the fantasy of a loving, caring woman now? I don't know. I, I think you should come in so we could talk face to face. I can't right now. You know, your mother is always talking about Infanticide. Yeah, it's a sad situation that goes on in the world. Are you still feeling okay? I feel pretty good, actually. When I find out who took a shot at me, I'm gonna feel even better. Okay. I'm confused. I know. Everyone took a big <gasps> gasp. No, seriously. Okay. Is Livia in on this hit killing of her son with Junior? Or is he doing this behind her back 
and she's just said stuff about him like she's feeding him some information without knowing it like yeah well he's you know he's kind of doing things and not letting you in on it because that's fucked up he needs to be he needs to continue in therapy if you find that out a different kind of therapy Uncle Junior just needs to be dealt with. Um, we don't know where Big P is yet. I'm going to start calling him that. <laughs> Makes me more comfortable. We don't know where Big P is. He's disappeared. Uh, Jimmy. Nothing's been going on with him. Um... As far as like them talking about him and the wire and any more of that kind of stuff. We, uh, we focused on the hit that Uncle Junior was in charge of on Tony. Luckily, um, it didn't go as planned. But his kids are well aware that this was not a carjacking and... Especially now that Tony's, you know, frickin' frack <laughs> are sitting in the back of the limo taking taking Anthony Jr. and his date to the to the prom, to the dance. That's normal. And they're just sitting there with the jewelry on and their suits on and they're they're not saying a word, they're not, you know. Yeah, that's going to look normal. So, this whole Isabella situation, I want, it was always, I was going to say, when he saw her in town, after seeing her in the backyard, with hanging all the white linens, and she looked like an angel. I was going to say, she just looked like an angel, blowing in the breeze, with, you know, wearing white. But then in town, she was wearing white as well. And I was like, she likes to wear white. <laughs> but this whole, that whole thing after he took a handful of the lithium and he went and sat in the shower and the whole screen kind of went sideways on us. And I was like, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's losing his mind. I think it was after that is when he staggered to the window and that's when he saw her. Okay. Well, he still feels happy when he talked to his therapist. Uh, she was like, well, you know, okay, so none of that happened, but how do you feel? Because they got rid of the lithium. He's just on Prozac now. And he said, I, you know, I feel okay. I feel good. So maybe he doesn't need that. Maybe that was just uh, a little something, something. And, you know, with, with his life practically taken as he said it kind of gave him a little jolt as it would um i don't know maybe he needed isabella isabella in his life at that time i don't know i need to know what the rest of his family's up to because i don't like it one bit there's only a couple more episodes left of this season and I need this dealt with and if Uncle Junior and Livia aren't in the second season I could care less that's how I feel about it um great episode though I really enjoyed it thank you for watching with me as always until the next video and the next time bye